Hey, it's Jack from Apple Charts with a Stocks to Watch video. Today is April 2nd, 2023. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right. Um, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It does help me out. The subscribing um, is a big deal to me. So thank you all very much. If you have subscribed, and if you haven't yet, please go ahead and do that. You can find me on Twitter at AlphaCharts365. I'm always posting stuff all week long. Um, content's pretty decent, so I think you guys would like that as well if you like these videos. Um, today, we are doing Stocks to Watch. This uh, platform is DeepView. You can find it at deepview.com. I believe they just this weekend opened it up um, for uh, public access to it. So again, DeepView, D-E-E-P-V-U-E.com. Um, if you're interested in the software um, that I am using today. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's talk about the SPY. Um, you know, last week was very, very, I think, productive in, in what it did, right? Um, it's, you know, it went ahead and I'm just going to get my uh, tools out here that I want. Um, so we had a nice move higher in the market, right? But we still haven't taken out this lower high compared to here. So that's my my uh, trepidation. Also, you know, going from this low right here, right, the most recent low, to here, you know, the market's moved seven and a half percent or so, and that's a pretty big move over you know a two week period. So. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some backing and filling. Again, if you watch my state of the market video from yesterday, you know, we go really in depth on why I think a pullback of some sort this next week is very possible and probable. Um, the question is, where does that pullback start and stop, right? I mean, do we start the week Monday, gap down and go? And But where does it hold, right? Does it hold We're in these moving averages right over here? Does it hold at the 200 day to make a higher low? Or does it over the week just fall apart? And, you know, we, we don't know that information. Um, but getting good entries is super important, especially knowing that whether it's Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, a pullback is probably coming, especially as we get into this area, this, you know, um, potential area of, of resistance. So that's what I'm looking for going to this week, which means, you know, Monday morning, whether it's a gap up or or you know, especially if it's a gap up, right? Don't trust Monday morning gap ups, especially after the market's ran so much. That would be like a trap, in my opinion. Um, but get the good entries. That's the, that's the most important part of, that I'm trying to say right now. All right, so um, you have my feelings on SPY. Again, if you want more in-depth look at this and I go over a lot of information, check out my other video called um, uh, State of the Market. All right, I did that yesterday. First name is SYK, Striker. So beautiful look, right? Nice broke out of this base. Um, you know, it may not be the fastest moving name, but when we zoom in now into just this area, um, by the way, I'm going to pull up this panel and this will show you all the financials uh, for the for the names. Um, you, know, you see that it's so growing. Um, I like how it broke out. And now again, if we get a pullback and it holds this pink area, That'd be a great spot, great risk reward, because that's all we're looking for is highest probability names, right? Pull back into, you know, 280-ish, right? If it holds 280-ish, you know, that could be a great spot. It may come down to 278. Who, you know, the, the exact spot doesn't matter, but this pinkish area right there, um, that would be this a, a ideal spot because if you're wrong, it's only a little paper cut and you didn't risk that much. So SYK is my first one. X-ray is next, right? And so this one, I mean, just going back a little bit, you know, had a you know big fall from 69.70 all the way down to 26, right? And now it has this beautiful base. And as we look through it, again, good growth on the bottom. Um, it's trying to make its move again. Am I buying it if it starts to move in here right away? No, look how extended it is. But if it comes back a little bit and then breaks out, that's a different story, right? Right. And here's a low, higher low, maybe another higher low on $38. 
and then uh, and then maybe a breakout. And again, that could be a process. It doesn't happen in two days, right? But X-ray. Uh, next up, AMD. Here's AMD. And again, it's trying to make the bottom. Semiconductors have been doing very, very well. Um, you know, it's not that expand, extended right now. If, if you really zoom into this side, you know, it has that little, you know, flag going right there. Grab my tool. You know, so a little break of this flag. And then there is some overhead supply around the 104, 105 area, right? So just be aware of that, right? But if you want to play for a quick hit, uh, that's where it could go to. Again, I would probably take some off into here, let it come back, and then bust out. Um, but again, a good looking name uh, in the right sector, you know, hot sector. So AMD, again, maybe into this pink area. Um, next up, donuts, B N U T. This is Krispy Kreme, right? And so, again, newer IPO. And you kind of see, I didn't even do the work on this yet, but. This area right here, you know, as it kind of started to take its form, that's the area that I would, you know, want to see a breakout from and probably to this 1960 to $20 area, right? In some some place in here, you know, maybe 19 to $20, right? So it's a decent move, right? When we, uh, when, if this can, you know, 20, 25% move. Now let's zoom in. And you can see how it is just kind of going sideways in a fairly tight notion. Right over here, letting the, the moving average just catch up. Um, pretty pretty good looking chart overall. Again, it may pull back some, right? So I'm not saying plow into it right here, but um, I, I like how it's a very tight consolidation and we're not seeing a ton of distribution in there. Um, you know, this day is kind of interesting. It did gap up. Uh, but there was some selling on this day right in here. So you know that there's sellers right here, right? So it's got to take out this high to get through the sellers that are maybe from back here. Or you remember, sellers were found here. Sellers were found there. So again, this is the important area. Again, above it, we'll call it $16. Above it, and I think we can manage risk appropriately. As long as we're below $16, I think it's going to be hard to manage risk. But again, it's you know decent growth numbers, right? Um, and and um, increasing sales, and uh, and it's got a very defined area. What more could we want? GFL is next. This is a uh, GFL Environmental again. It was higher, came back down. You know, kind of got cut in half, built its base, and now it's breaking breaking out of the base. And so, you know, again, it may pull back a little bit, right? Maybe to 34, who knows? Um, but if it pulls back a little bit, you could get a very low risk entry. And if you're wrong, you would know pretty quick. But overall, decent amount of accumulation going on in this name, right? Especially on this right side of the base. Um, I like that a lot. Look how on the down days, there's really no volume coming in. It's nice. And it looks good. It looks really good. So GFL Environmental. Uh, next up, CERT, C-E-R-T. This is CERTERA. Um, again, it was a $45 stock, went down to $10, right? That's a gigantic and now, uh, drawdown, and now is trying to um, build it out, right? Fairly recent IPO. So here we are, and it's got that little flag going. And again, I think this could be an area that's important. So in, in some ways, similar to that donut ch um, chart. And now we're starting to see some nice volume coming in. And look the difference a little bit here. See how it's going to the top of the range? This one didn't, but this one did on just giant volume. That's a very, um, to me, aggressive buying in this particular name. And I, I like that, right? And then it's going tight just sideways, right? It's just kind of up into the moving averages, up, you know, it didn't even go into the moving averages that much here, up again. That's somebody that's buying, 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 big volume, institutional type of, of buying right there. Um, and so my guess would be there's probably a good reason why, you know, um, institutions are being part of this. And so I may want to consider being a part of it too. It's coming into the moving averages, just like it did here, just like it did here, kind of, just like it, you know, it's doing it here, you know, this way, it went down to the 50 on this one. 
they were kind of close together. 200 days rising. Again, there's a lot of reasons to like this chart. Um, again, decent growth numbers, right? Decent growth numbers. Um, sales are increasing, which is good. Um, and I think we have a level, right? Again, you can use this trend line right there. It'll flag break. That I think that's reasonable. So you know what? I'll just put an alert right there. So I just added my alert in there and um and this way if it breaks it, you know, I know I could be involved in it, right? Um, you know, there's not a ton. Again, there there may be some overhead supply in this area, but I like the institutional signatures on this chart. So that's just me. Uh next up is VNT. This is um Vontier. You know, again, making this base that's been going on, you know, for over a year, right? So that's a significant base. And let's just zoom into this side of the base because this is the part that really matters. And, um, you know, I like how it came here. And when it came back down, it didn't even come down to the 50-day. kind of held the 23-day for the most part and then came right back up. Again, it may need to come back down one more time, but we know that, oh, that this area $25 or so about right where the 50 day is currently um is important so if it comes down and it just comes down to let's say $26 right that could be a beautiful place to manage risk making a higher low so again it may or may not be ready right now and again it it went from let me see what this is you know it just moved nine percent in a very you know just a few days Right. So let it come back, rest, or even go sideways, let these moving averages catch up, and then maybe a breakout makes sense. Next up, Duolingo. I think we've all probably tried Duolingo and and uh you know have uh you know try to learn a new language, newer IPO. Um, you know, this two hundred dollar area is gonna be really, really important, but there's a lot of space between now and two hundred. Again, it's kind of if you look on this side. You know, it's it's up into the moving averages, up into the moving average, up. You now, really, really, really tight. Just really broke out. Decent amount of volume on um, Friday. Um, maybe it goes higher. Maybe it needs to just, you know, consolidate just a little bit more. But this is one that doesn't always come back to 23 day. It's been riding its nine day pretty, pretty nicely. So if it comes back and touches the nine day again, around 136 or so, um, that could be an area to get involved. And then you could use the 23 day right below it as your stop. Again, if that's the case, just to illustrate, you know, that gives you, right now it's about 7% uh, um, seven percent between the two of them. So you'd have to, you know, adjust your risk accordingly. For me, that's probably a little bit wide. So I may consider half a position or quarter position because I'm not sure about this market anyway, right? So, you know, that's um that's that's reasonable, right? You don't have to go, you know, 100% position every time. Next up is going to be, by the way, growth numbers are pretty insane, even though they're not making money yet, right? But they are getting increasing sales. I mean, nothing, you know, crazy, but it's increasing. Next up, SHC. So this is an interesting one. You know, obviously, if it can do this, right, down 33% and 16%, you know, go down 50% basically in two days, um, it could do this, go up 100% in one day, right? And I don't know what is going on with this name, but it's just basically moving sideways. It has a history of kind of doing that. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but it was an interesting name, interesting look to it. And if I zoom in and get rid of that, you see that, you know, it's just kind of going sideways. And I, and I looked it up. I couldn't find that much information if there was a buyout or what the deal was. It doesn't look like a buyout because it's, it's not that tight, you know, um, but it's just going sideways. So basically above a, a break above 18, yeah, 60-ish or so, 75, something like that. And I think, you know, it could keep going up. But again, it's just a, 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 a interesting chart, you know, to say the least. And again, um, it has this kind of 
pattern in the past. I don't know. But it was interesting, so I wanted to share it with you. SHC. Next up, M-N-D-Y. Monday.com. Again, so more uh, fairly recent IPO came in, making its base, right? I can easily put something across of it like this-ish. Right into the gap too, that right. So right into the gap, um, and now this is its base that it's trying to make for about a year, and when we look at it, you know you have this kind of downtrend line that I could easily make like here, and now price is starting to break above it, um, you know, so it's not the true bullish look to it yet. Uh, may need a little bit more more work, but overall, it's a it's breaking the, uh, the downtrend line, and you can use maybe one thirty two, and if you want to go even more, you can go one thirty five or one thirty six as your stop, and it's a fairly tight stop for a name like this, um, and uh, and, and maybe play to one seventy or so, right, somewhere you know back to to this this pink area. At that point, I'd expect some supply to come in. But um, but maybe it doesn't. Who knows, right? Um, at that point too, all these averages would be bullishly aligned by that time, which would be kind of nice to see. Then it could pull back and maybe break out again. Next up, TXG. This is a 10x genomics. Again, was you know two hundred dollars stock went all the way down to twenty three dollars, right? So it lost ninety percent of its value. Uh, when you go to Let's go back a little further. Um, and again, we could go to the weekly. Right? Maybe easier to see in the weekly. You know, we had from the IPO, this held, this held, right? Fell through it. You know, gave it a little problems in there, but fell through it, came back. Again, this pink area was an issue, but now it's above it, 11% a week, which is really nice. We'll flip it back to the days. And now it is, um, you know, seven percent on Friday. Great. Again, what I'd like to see, and grab my arrow in there, you know, is a pullback a little bit, and then higher. Right. That's at my low risk entry, right around uh, fifty one, fifty two dollars. Right. Fifty one, fifty two. That's a decent entry, and you could play it however you want to. Um, it is a you know genomics type name, um, which did well last week. Um, and again, you see how this is going to be now an area of the shelf, right? So I think fifty one fifty, maybe fifty two fifty, somewhere around there. Fifty two fifty would be fine with me. Um, because you know if it gets back into the shelf and this doesn't offer support, you don't want to be part of this name. Next up will be Reta R E T A. Now, this is a biotech. Um, it's a pharmaceutical. Uh, and so, you know, again, they can be volatile, right? So if you like names like this, great. Just make sure you position size appropriately because, you know, they can drop, you know, 90% in two days or they can, you know, go up 200% in a day. And now it's kind of holding this area. So whatever happened here, probably some sort of, you know, study or announcement or whatever um it's gone sideways now for basically a month and um letting the moving averages catch up and you know it looks like a nice you know if we can break this trend line you know again i'm gonna put another alert there right if it breaks this trend line then this thing could potentially really move right um we'll see so my alert set up in there, and we'll see what happens, right? Next up, Airy. Right, so I'm sure everyone has seen Airy. Probably a lot of you have traded Airy in the past. Um, it looked good back in here, um, and it's been really not doing much since. So we have a pretty tight area, not tight area, but, but defined area. Um, right over here that I think we can say that sellers are going to show up to. Um, and we'll see, you know, listen, price could get back up here to $23, $24, but it's got to kind of consolidate and get above, you know, 25, 50 ish, $26, something like that 
for me to really get involved in a name like this. Um, it, it's doing nothing wrong, but it's just going sideways. Um, it held, it's holding what it needs to, though, and so I kind of like it in that respect. Um, okay, accumulation over here. So above 26, I like that. Next up, uh, Fastly. So this is one that I talked about a lot with um, my people that are part of my super follow group. Um, I know some of them jumped on this one. Congrats to them. Um, but I like, you know, again, this, you know, the story fastly was it was a high flyer for, you know, back in 2020, big time, right? Went up to about $130, fell all the way down to $7, right? Um, that's like a 98, 99% drop or something like that. And then, um, and now it's kind of built its base and came back and, you know, this type of volume tells me that something has changed in the stock, right? Uh, came back, retested this pink area, held, and then moved higher. And that's a nice thing to see. So it was a nice 4% day on Friday. Um, and now it's extended. So if it could come back and, you know, come back or go sideways, maybe some inside days, let these moving averages catch up. That'd be great. I'd love to see a retest of the 23. We may not get that. Yeah, you know, when you really zoom in to this part of the chart, you see how there's just a lot of accumulation going on. So a bit more subtle than others. Um, you know, they don't have to be skyscrapers, even though that's that's what ca catches my eye. Um, but you see how the sellers, there's no sellers in there, right? No sellers, you know, barely any selling. And so that's a really important um, attribute of the chart. So there's Fastly, again, I don't think it's a good risk reward here, but again, if it sets up, then then I'd like that. Uh, next up is Net, and same kind of edge cloud um, area. Uh, again, it was a high flyer, big time. It was a $220 stock. It got all the way down to $37, right? It's a big you know, um, you know, 85, 90% decline, but something is changing, right? Right where Fastly was changing, this was changing. It came down, tested its 200 day, that's this red, and now it is starting to move higher. Again, a nice move. I, I consider those, you know, very similar in their actions. Um, we may see some resistance right here because we saw some already. So, a nice entry would be maybe a pullback to 58 or 59, right? And then a breakout. And that would be, that would be interesting to me, right? So again, and that would then also have my bullishly aligned moving averages with the 200 day starting to slope up, 50 day going up, and these other two would then be rising as well. Again, this could take though, could take a week, right? Doesn't mean it's gonna happen Monday morning. Uh, but that's what I would look for. Again, this is a nice day. Let it pull back, go higher. This type of volume means that people are starting to get interested in this name again. So there's Net. Um, Asan. So here's Asan. Again, most of these names got destroyed, right, for over a year now, 143 to 1150. And now we're starting to see a little resurgence, you know, Something like this is what I'm looking for. But let's zoom in to this part of the chart, right? We had a nice up, big volume coming in again. Maybe some selling in there, right? So we have to be careful with a candle that looks like this. But um, but I can say that it broke out of this downtrend line, and so that's a positive, right? On you know five on good volume, um, you know five point five percent update, up day. And so, uh, so I like that. And maybe it gets up to 27. That's a nice little gain right there, right? That's 25%, right? So that's no joke. Um, that's a nice, nice gain. So we'll see. Again, maybe this gets an inside day or two. That'd be fine. But again, we have starting to be bullishly aligned, right? This 50 day still hasn't crossed the 200 day. So that's, it's missing that element. But overall, it's a good looking name, and that's not a requirement for me. I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's not a requirement. Um, and last one is ALGN. This is Align Technology. Um, and we can see that there is 
you know, a trend line here. You can maybe say it's there, right? Hit the tops. Um, and looking at this one, it's a it was a seven hundred and fifty dollars stock, went down to one hundred and seventy three, and now it is starting to move higher again. Again, this is the type of day that catches my eye, right? Big gap up, closing at the top, big volume, looks good. Again, here's your trend line right there. And I'm going to set an alert right there. Um, rise above. I want to know, right? I want to know. Um, again, starting to align bullishly. I like that. Um, you know, I was expecting maybe at 350-ish, maybe it pulls back a little bit and then breaks out. And if it happens in a week or two, great. I have my alert set and everything's okay. And I won't miss it, hopefully. Um, if there's money in my account, right? If I'm not already fully invested. Anyway, um, that's what I got for you. Uh, I hope uh, this has helped generate some ideas for you. Again, never investment advice. Um, hopefully, uh, y'all are doing well. Uh, beware if there's a gap up on Monday. Do not plow into that gap up. If things are already a little extended. That would just, in my opinion, be a trap. And um, all right, you guys have a great day. Good luck. Take care. Bye.